This is lesson one under unit two. Meaning is everything in communication. How we view the world and express our ideas and thoughts about it are channeled through language. Griffiths in 2006 defined semantics as the study of word meaning and sentence meaning abstracted away from context of use. Studying meaning can be simplified into two, the denotative meaning and connotative meaning. The digitalization of information and advancement in communication technologies make it quite impossible to confine our understanding of a word's denotative meaning since there are words that have the same meaning, like synonyms. We also have opposite meanings like antonyms. Words also have connotative meanings, which are associated with cultural and emotional meanings. Figures of speech are examples of these. Therefore, if our purpose is to be understood by our readers and listeners, we have to use a language that conveys our intended meaning. Natural language differs from artificial or computer language, also called artificial intelligence, just as natural conversation differs from computer-mediated exchanges. Regardless of the medium people use in expressing their ideas, the heart of any communicative enterprise is language. It can be linguistic and non-linguistic. Although word meanings can be taken in isolation, the same words ordered in a certain way also convey meaning in itself, but this does not deter an addressee, the reader, listener, or audience, to be able to understand something different from what is communicated. Thus, we can say, in purposive communication, word meaning should be understood beyond its literal meaning. When we do this, we are learning another subfield of linguistics, and that is pragmatics. In semantics, we combine word meaning and sentence meaning to convey to the listener the denotative meaning of words that are arranged in ways comprehensible to the persons we are talking to. For example, the sentence, I am tired, can be understood that speaker, I, is expressing a certain feeling. But if we know the speaker very well, and it was uttered after completing an essay, which took the eye a day to write with some readings on the topic and discussion with a partner through Google Meet with poor internet connection, the meaning of tired becomes more precise. This is pragmatics or speaker's meaning and hearer's interpretation. In communication, therefore, prior knowledge of a word is important. The meaning of the speaker's utterances, aside from the denotative meaning of the words, should also be put into context, which are actually, you know, factors that the listener has to consider. Since communication is always contextual, three concepts will be emphasized, which are cooperative principle, politeness, and conversational maxims. This lesson will discuss the basic concepts of semantics and pragmatics. At the end of this lesson, students are expected to distinguish semantics from pragmatics and apply how they relate to one another. Number two, classify words according to their shared denotative meanings and connotative meanings. Number three, explain the concepts of cooperative principle, politeness, and conversational maxims. Number four, work in groups to create a PowerPoint presentation and conversation video on any concept related to semantics and pragmatics. Number five, participate in the virtual classroom discussion of the lesson with the teacher and other students. And number six, Write a short essay of 300 to 400 words on the importance of politeness in purposive communication.